welcome back to Ben Cost Mattrician. Um, you join me today on the final of the Timberlands, or well, big big tees, big money qualifiers, um, and today is the final. So I managed to qualify for the final. We've got 15 people in the final. I have drawn peg four. Not really where you want to be. You've got peg one in the corner. There's Stu. Morning, Stu. Morning. And Damien. So Stu's on the peg one in the corner. Damien's on peg two. Tony's on peg three. And I'm here on peg four. Um, let's go through my plan for the day. Right, so we got bomb and bread there. On this bit here, bomb and bread. Nice and simple. Um, got a long pole here. Pellets, corn. It's the same depth all the way along here. So I'm just gonna sort of have a look along here. And I've put a bread rig up as well. I might have a little look here, maybe here, I'm not sure. But I haven't got a lot of room. I haven't got a lot of options, if I'm honest. So it might just be a sort of case of sort of borrowing some fish on, you know, sitting out for two or three carp and fingers crossed, you know, something turns up. Um, got corn, got four mil pellets, six mil pellets, got a few micros, some red pellets and some expanders and some dead maggots. I've set up a waggler. Um, set about a couple of foot deep, I suppose. Um, for just sort of chucking a pellet across. See if there's something there. Set up a straight lead, eight inch hook length. <clears throat> and I've set up a 4B16s wire pattern. Just a spread bulk at the bottom. And that's got a 16 SLWG on the bottom of it. Uh, that's on 013. And then I've set up a 0.3 carbon fishing through the water. Just a couple of number 11s down the line. Try a bit of bread, maybe a bit of corn, maybe a couple of dead maggots. See if they come off the bottom. In that sort of shallower water. Got the edges here, got the edges there. So I'll give that a try. Got that pipe there. I don't know if there's a... I'll try a bit of bread along there, see if there's anything along there. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't fancy it for me. I'll be, honest, I'll be honest. I don't fancy it for me at all. But, I suppose, you know, fish have, fish have fins, as they say. You never know, something might turn up. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to be in the final. Some proper money up for grabs. They're paying top four. I think you're probably fishing for about £50, maybe, in the good pegs. 25 to 30 in these pegs, possibly. But, yeah, I'm, I'm being negative, you know, hopefully. Well, you never know, it might, might chuck it out and might go around. You never know. But uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a grueler. But, yeah, I'll check in again soon. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys. Quick update for you guys. So, match started at half ten. Uh, no, sorry, ten o'clock. Match started at ten o'clock. It's twenty past eleven. Uh, so far, what I've done is I've chucked a wag out. No feed. Had about half a dozen casts on that. It's not gone round. Or not gone under, should we say. Um, I've just chucked bomb and bread across. And I've just landed my second carp. Uh, first one was about probably six pounds. Second one about about the same. So got about twelve pounds in the in the bag. Um, so not going too bad at the moment. Just literally just chucking it across. I've I've come away from the first one I caught was quite tight to the far bank, and the one I've just just got just now, is just away from the bank a bit, sort of six foot away from the bank. Uh, peg one has got one, but he's now paying his second. Peg two's got two, and Tony in peg three has got one and a few roach, and I've got two. So my right's got one. So we're in, we're in with the, you know, we're in with, in with, in with the big boys at the moment, should we say? Um, I think peg two, peg one's going to take some beating. I said he's got his second one on now. But yeah, so far we've got two, two, one, two, one. Um, so not too bad. <clears throat> I'm going to give this another sort of 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm probably going to have a look on the pole line. See if there's anything on that line at all. 
but at the moment can't complain absolutely freezing freezing fog but I managed two carp so far so not going too bad just keep my head down keep working keep thinking and hopefully it'll go around again fingers crossed just on the um, two thirds of an ounce bomb straight straight bomb um, eight inch sort of seven eight inch hook length size 14 QM1 uh, three discs of 10 mil bread pushed together um, and that's it two carp Sure update guys. Hope it keeps going around. Cheers guys. Right, number three. Hopefully, finish number three. I'll get it in. Kev's got his second, I think. What have you got, Kev? How many you got? Got a big one. It's got a big one. How many you got, Kev? Two. Two again? Three, yeah. Uh, Certainly is, mate. Number three. Something's telling me I should change the select elastic because it's stressing out too much, but I don't know what, I think I will. No, I won't. I'll stick with what I've got. Four. Number four. There we go. <clears throat> Little update for you. past 12 20 past 12 and I've had four on the bomb and bread just gone out <clears throat> just 
gone out on a bit of corn, tapped in some pellets, it's gone under. Thank God. So there seems to be a few fish about today. Slightly smaller, but still welcome. That's carp number five. Beautiful colour. Two hours into the match, I've got five carp, so that's a small one, so I'm going to guess about 25 pound-ish. I was thinking that I was going to regret coming off that bomb and bread, but seems not. Just tapping in about, I don't know, 20 pellets. No, not that many. 15, 4 mil pellets, softened. Fourteen and a half metres and a dolly butt, which is quite heavy actually today. I think because my hands feel so cold, it feels extra heavy. Shivering. Tap it. Tap the pellets in. <coughs> Fishing on a noddy noddy bar today. And that's it. Checking again soon. Twelve thirty four. It left one. <clears throat> Cut the pound, probably. It's got five carp and an F one. It's not bad. Stick to, stick to what I was doing, it's just a bit of corn, tapping in a few pellets. Just hooking the corn like a, like a maggot, should we say. Put a few more in this time. Um, Stewanian's got, I think, two or three. Damien's got three or four. Tony's got three or four. I've got five. And an F1, which I just caught, obviously. Um, gonna be close. Definitely gonna be close. my best to obviously record as many fish as I can but obviously this is the final so try my best to concentrate as well at the same time <clears throat> okay that's your update guys call past one I've gone back on the uh, bomb and bread. Uh, I've got my seventh fish. Hopefully, I can get it in. Go 
ghosty. No, mate. I'd be waiting bits this morning. Aye? <laughs> Fish number seven. I was just about to come. Funny thing is, I was just about to come off that. Let's just open me another chuck. That was just off the far bank. And it just sort of rattled and dropped back and it was there. Might as well stick with this for a minute. Alright, so little update. Where are we? 10 to 2. Just took two fish on the gone back on the pole. I had that fish on the on the tip. Uh on the bomb and bread. I've come back on the pole, tapped some formulas in. I thought I'd try a pellet. I've had one bite, missed it. And now it's just gone under and I've got this one. Behave yourself, I haven't got in yet. I hope so. So yeah, it's gone, gone on the pellet, on the pole, and now this one. I think that's number eight. Put them in the other net, just in case. Got plenty of room, but... Who's that? Yeah, Damon. Yeah. What's that, you? Yeah. <laughs> you do like to come from behind, Damon, don't you? I've heard about you, boys. It's been a great day, though. Checking again soon. Just, just literally turned you on to do a little update. Right. Ten to three. I'm talking to the camera. Yeah. 
I literally just about to turn the camera on and I've looked to fish. Ten to three. Still got 45 minutes left, Tone. You keep saying that. So I've just gone back on bomb and bread across because I had a couple on the pole. I've got nine fish. Ah, oh, you see what I mean? Unbelievably, I've just lost it. That might have just lost me in the match. Just said, I always beat you five pounds, so don't worry. You always do, mate. Just don't worry, babe. You always beat ten five pounds. Uh. Snap you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> you lost two. <laughs> yeah, actually broke me. Uh, he slaughtered me. I've got nowhere near that. I've got nowhere near it. Where are you? You're questioning my mathematics? Yeah. If it's that type, then I Cheers, mate. Well done, Ben. Cheers, mate. That was that. Big Tony, Big Tony Winnix, uh, big money final at Timberlands. Uh, Drew Pig four. Um, caught a few fish long on bread, popped up bread. Uh, caught a few fish on the pole, but they disappeared. So I've gone back to the bread. Um, I think I was winning the match at one point. I've ended up with 11 fish uh, for £59. Um, tough old day. So, yeah, I've had £59. Uh, Tony Winnick next to me has had £64 to my left. Uh, one fish, which I did lose a fish at the end. But I could say, oh, I lost a fish. But he lost two fish. So he's done me by £5. I've come second. Um, nice bit of uh, nice bit of money for the pot. So yeah, it was a good match. I enjoyed it. So yeah, second overall, fifty nine pounds, and uh, good experience. Good day. Absolutely freezing, freezing. I did not stop shaking all day. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. If I don't get to see you, well, obviously I'm not going to get to see you. But have yourselves a merry, merry Christmas. All the best. Tight lines.